Hey everyone, John Runner 88 here with another Star Wars video. It's not a review, it's a video. And a video about these three figures in particular. What do they have in common? I mean, these two are Mandalorians, I guess. This guy's a clone of a Mandalorian, so I mean, I guess they could all technically be Mandalorians. But I actually painted these. And you're probably just like, okay, yeah, they look just like the figures I have. They don't. So stop thinking that. <clears throat> they may be the same shape as the figure you have. They may be the same character as the figure you have. But we'll start here with the Super Commando. And if you look at your figure, you can see that my mine has an extremely dark undersuit now. Not extremely dark, but it is dirtied. It is weathered. It has... Just more life and texture to it. The backpack I dirtied up as well. It was just kind of generic plastic. Not too much of a fan of this. I think I did a little too much silver there. But I do like this little effect along the ridge there. Put little dots of silver on the top. <clears throat> yeah, my biggest issue with this figure was like it looked fantastic. Like the sculpt and everything. But the undersuit was just, just molded plastic, didn't have any depth to it. And it was like, it was a lighter plastic, so it does stand out, like, when it is not weathered or painted or anything. When it's a darker undersuit, it's not too bad. It kind of makes it look a little more lived in. Yeah, so I, that was the biggest thing I did on this, was just giving that suit that nice dark wash. And I just take some black acrylic paint little bit of water and I just put it on there and I don't even do any like sealing or anything because I don't usually do like big like paint covers I usually I mean I cover the whole thing in like a light paint but I mean if I were to do like a full paint job on like the front armor or something like yes you'd want to use like a sealer to protect that from like just scraping off but what I tend to do is I'll do a dark wash month with my figures. I'll paint in maybe a few little details here and there. As far as like if there's like buttons or something, I'll show you on some, on, especially on um, Hunter. <clears throat> but I'll also add like the little flashes of silver. You can see this was just red before I would add I add little bits of silver on like the edges just to look like it's beat up a little bit I did it on like the uh holsters there all those were just straight gray plastic nothing crazy the most paint on this guy was the helmet the chest the shoulder pads Everything else was pretty much just molded in plastic. But the only silver flashes that were on him were on this chest plate here. So if you see any other ones as I'm like kind of twisting them around, that's all stuff that I added on. I also added, painted up like the buckles on the back and everything. Not that he'd ever be displayed like this because he's got a big old hole in his back, but I just like, I like painting in, like I did little buttons there, little like clasps here. Just fun going in, painting up stuff. I painted the silver on the back of his helmet there, and I did little flecks of silver on his horns. <clears throat> This was a pretty quick one. Did that just like an afternoon. Just gave him a dark wash. And now we're on to the big boy. Paz Vizsla. Again, you probably look at him from afar and you're like, yeah, that's just what Paz Vizsla looks like. But this is what the Hot Toys Paz Vizsla looks like. Because I added a whole lot of detail to this guy. I painted a bunch of silver flecks here. Did the buttons this whole bit here i don't think there's any silver on that before so i did like all the dings all the scratches 
the yellow on his armor was always just too bright because they didn't weather it. Um, it's the right color of his armor, but without like the weathering, it just stands out an awful lot more. I'm pretty sure I did. I don't know if there's like I don't even remember what it, what it looked like before because this is just what he what he looks like. But again, his undersuit I did, dirtied that up because it was just you know he he didn't have like any weathering on him. It was just like this some silver bits on his like helmet. There are a few pieces like here and there, but I did add a whole lot more like on the leg here. I added all those. There's like there's bunch a bunch of dings on the back of his armor, so I. Put those silver flecks there. His yellow armor here. There is like, I, I think this band is supposed to be. We have a little hiccup here. This band here is supposed to be brown, I think. So I think I will go back and paint that eventually. But I painted that little bit silver. And the back of his helmet didn't have any silver flex on it so I painted all those dings in <clears throat> and I think he came out awesome I absolutely love the way he looks did the dirtied up the joints there his little piping there and like you like I said you look at him in like a picture and you're just like oh yeah you look like you know good looking figure but then if you look at him next to like I wish I had like just a straight unpainted figure to compare him with but i'm not spending almost 30 dollars to do that <clears throat> but his jetpack absolutely love how this came out i'll show you this real quick and did dirty up i dirtied everything up everything's got dirt on it now but yeah i did that did a little extra on the bottom to kind of make that i might i might do like a little extra dry brushing on there to kind of bring it out a little bit more and also these pat pads back here, he's got like shoulder, uh, elbow pads that are supposed to be blue. So I might paint those as well. And I did forget those. I might paint those silver. Not sure. I think I forgot to do his back for the most part because he was, or I got into painting this because this looks fantastic. I, I don't always toot my own horn, but if it needs to be tooted, it's going to be tooted, you know? This just, I love the way this came out. It looks so good. Just did a, you know, a dark wash over the whole thing, which was just molded plastic. There was nothing to it. It was just dark gray plastic, a little bit of yellow paint on the engines there. And then, you know, yellow plastic, dark gray plastic, dark gray plastic, a little bit of paint on the tip for that like blue effect just to show that it's been like heated up over and over again. But all the other silver bits you see is just from a dry brushing that I did over it. And it just really brings out all that awesome detail. It just looks like it's a real weapon now. And it looks great. And he came out awesome. I had tons of fun doing him because he's got tons of little unpainted like little dings in his armor. So I just went through, tackled all those. It was fun. And now on to our last member in the custom crew. And it's Hunter from the Bad Batch. The only member of the Bad Batch we have in TVC. And if you have your own hunter, go grab him, look at him, and be like, yeah, my hunter doesn't quite look like that. Because I did a dark wash over the whole figure. And I went in, again, with some little silvers. You can see it, like, on the back here. On the back of his, uh, like, shin armor. Like, whenever there's a raised edge, you just, like, you know, take a little bit of paint. Hit the edges. You can see like the back of his armor here. There's also a thing I noticed when I was like going in to paint him. <clears throat> There's these pieces here. You can't they just kind of blend in now? But when on the back here, there's like these little overhang pieces from the armor. It's here and it's here on the thigh armor. You can see it right there. I painted those black because that's actually supposed to be, you can see the ridging a little bit. 
in it. It is a, it's supposed to be part of his undersuit, but they left it painted. Or they didn't paint it at all. They left it molded in the gray plastic because it's just cheaper, you know? So I painted those in, and it just, you know, fills in his undersuit and makes him look more accurate to the show. Can't quite see it the best. The lighting's not super amazing here to show off all these separate dark colors, but you can see where that ridging is. And it's just kind of supposed to cover the articulation, I'm assuming, when you're bending it, but it's whatever. Unnecessary, but unpainted, so I painted it. And I did his helmet. It didn't do anything to the face. I think his face looks fine. I don't want to screw it up or anything. But the helmet, I dark wash over the whole thing. Did some silver on the raised edges on the side. Thankfully, Hot Toys has done remarkable versions of the Bad Badge. So I was able to look at those for some guidance. They also, they... This figure didn't have these kind of like, these like Stormtrooper like bits kind of hearkening to the Stormtrooper with these like little um, rectangular pieces here and then little like eyes on the back. And the Hot Toys one has them painted, so I painted them because that's as realistic as you're going to get with a Star Wars Bad Batch. I painted more of the little mouthpiece, painted it up a little bit more. Had some silver on it, but not much. Fixed the visor a little bit. Had a little bit of white overpaint on it. So I fixed that and put some silver flecks all around. Didn't go too crazy with it, but definitely added some. And put that back on there. And again, dark wash over the whole thing. Dirtied his blaster up a little bit, added some silver on that. And the most fun, I think, was the backpack, though, because the Hot Toys one has a lot of detail on it. So I went through, I painted up, there's this, this black, this part was black on the Hot Toys. Those things in there were black. These panels here were black. And this was filled in black here, the little buttons, and the buttons are actually colored on the Hot Toys one. I am going to go in and do that, but it was like, I think it was like blue and red, and I, don't, I didn't have those paints out yet, so I figured I'd just hold off on that. And then this little design here, you kind of see it in that little red box that's supposed to be white, those little like lines and stuff, so I am going to go back and do that, and then he'll look, he'll look great, you know? Yeah, had a lot of fun with this. Definitely can't wait to get the rest of the Bad Batch. We better get them. Because Hunter is just an amazing figure. He is not sitting on pegs. He sold as quick as he got to stores, pretty much. So there's no reason not to bring the rest of the Bad Batch out. We all want them. We love them. But yeah, those are my three custom figures right now. Or more so painted figures. They're not really custom customs. But they also are. <laughs> My three custom figures. Mandalorian, Super Commando, Paz Vizsla, Hunter. Again, easy paint jobs, just dark wash, some silver paint, hitting them Hitting them high points, making them shine, making them look lived in, having a good time in the Star Wars universe. It's very easy to do if you're ever kind of like questioning whether you should get into painting up your figures and stuff. I don't do it to all of them. Fortunately, Vintage Collection does a pretty good job painting the figures for us. Cannot say that for the Black Series. I don't collect them, but I see them. When they show them off and everything, they're just always missing paint. They just always, they, if they can crank it out in just solid plastic, they're going to do it. But Vintage Collection goes that extra mile for us, and they do paint up most of the figures as best as they can. 
and you know I think the one thing that a lot of the figures we get are missing is just kind of an overall weathering dark wash to them and that's an easy thing to do like I said just some a little bit of paint honestly it's like it's the tiniest bit you could have just like a little a little like a dime's worth of paint not even just get a tiny little bit on your brush a little bit of water just kind of get it on a little spot let it sit for maybe 30 seconds not even that long sometimes wipe it off with a paper towel and it'll look a million times better try it on the back first if you're not comfortable just try it out see how it goes on a figure maybe you're not a huge fan of or you know whatever yeah i think that'll about do with this one thanks for watching everybody have you customized any figures on your own i i follow a lot of people that are heavily into that and it's really cool seeing the stuff that they churn out i do it sparingly just because you know time money mostly time and yeah i think that'll about do it here thanks for watching everybody go follow me over on instagram you can't see the before and after pictures of these again not like the best comparisons on like a photo it's definitely better in person looking at it kind of pointing out all those little details but you can see the before and after and yeah john runner 88 over there as well so go follow me there if you want i appreciate it subscribe here if you want i would appreciate that too thanks for watching everybody bye guys